Hey guys, how's it going? So this video I'm very excited for, very excited to make this video. So Sony finally, finally announces a release date and pricing for the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 digital will go for 400 US dollars and the physical PlayStation 5 will go for 500 US dollars and the release date will be on September no, sorry, November 12th, and it will be available for uh, US, Canada, Japan, Mexico, Australia, New, uh, New Zealand, and South Korea, and the rest of the world get the hand on the console on November 19th. I'm so excited for the PlayStation 5, you have no idea. I literally ran, I literally, first thing I did was I went to Best Buy, Amazon, uh, all the on EB Games, all the online website to check if their pre-orders are up, and no announcement of a pre-order. So I drove all the way down to EB Games and Best Buy, and I asked them when uh, when the pre-orders will be available. And EB Games told me that sometime next week they will have pre-orders for the PlayStation Five, and Best Buy told me that. Uh, It'll be on their website first, so I'm going to be checking every day, uh, and I will keep you guys updated if I ever actually get my hands on a pre-order for the PS5. You can almost guarantee you, I almost guarantee you that if I can get on, get my hands on multiple PS5s, I will, and I will try to flip them for a profit, because... I'm very excited for the PS5. I'm very excited, and I know I know if I can get my hands on some, I can definitely flip them for a profit. So, I'm definitely gonna try to flip them for a profit, just for fun. You know, that's my plan, anyways. I don't know what you guys wanted. Uh, that's my plan, and I'm very excited. Very very excited. You have no idea. I'm been waiting for an announcement for the PS5 for so long. I can't wait to see the user interface. I can't wait to get my hands on the console and finally game for the first time in 4K on um, so yeah. So I have a 4K TV and very excited to be getting this PlayStation 5 console. So yeah. Anyways, uh Sony stock. I'm surprised Sony stock didn't just pop or skyrocket after the announcement. Like it's shocking to me, but hey, you know, that's just the reality of the stock market. I, you know, I thought big money and robots would be like, oh, PlayStation 5, release date, finally, pump Sony stock. But that's not the scenario. GameStop is getting pumped, though. It's up thir another 13 cents after hours, 1.5%. Uh, Sony's the only company right now that's getting pumped. Sorry, GameStop is the only company that's getting pumped. It got pumped 22.43% today. And then another 13 cents after hours. You bet that I'm going to be getting the PlayStation 5 digital. I'm not getting the physical. 100 bucks extra to, to buy physical disc. No thanks. I'm getting the digital. Uh, and you know, physical is stupid anyways, in my opinion, because the world is going digital and GameStop's business is going to go dead eventually, but unless they convert somehow, but short term, I mean, the, the stock's probably going to go higher. We could see this thing $10 in the short term. That's my opinion anyways. We'll see what happens. AMD. I thought AMD stock would pop on this news, but nope. It didn't. It might. It might continue to decline further. So we'll see what happens in the coming days. Uh, Snowflake is down after hours. One uh, only forty three cents. I'm it's holding its price. That's pretty good. We'll see where this continues. I just don't see the stock getting pumped to the upside and like too much further. Uh, the reward versus the risk is high. I mean, Snowflake could keep going up. If big money keeps pumping it, but I don't think retail investors are gonna look at this and be like, "Oh, two hundred fifty-three dollars! Oh man, that's an awesome price! I gotta buy this before it goes to a thousand dollars." I I really don't think retail investors are thinking like that. Uh, the only people that are really gonna move this stock at this price is big money. 
if big money wants to keep pumping this stock, it'll go up. I just, I personally staying away from it. it scares me. Uh, frog, uh, frog is uh, down after hours, uh, twenty one cents. Uh, Tesla is trading sideways. Uh, Giga Metals today had a big downfall day today. Uh, pumped yesterday and big decline today, which is healthy because it, you know, it makes it so it's not overbought anymore. Um, high tide today, de really good volume. Price action was down half a penny. Uh, I don't know where high start high tide stock is going, but I th I really think that this company long term is an undervalued play. Uh, it could go back down to fifteen cents, which would make it extremely undervalued play. So that's just my opinion. We'll see what happens. Uh, at the end of the day, I think ultimately big money will determine where the stock price will go. So yeah. Hi, SP Spy. The Spy had a pullback near the end of the day, but it's kind of volatile right now. Uh, Hennessy Capital Acquisition Corp. Uh, had a down day today, down twenty cents. Workhorse, damn, twenty seven dollars. That's crazy. Uh, almost twenty eight dollars today, but they pulled back. Um, Sony. I already talked about Sony, but uh, I'm surprised Sony stock doesn't get pumped to the upside in a big way. Ken uh, Kensington Capital Acquisition Corporation. <laughs> Uh, had a decent day, no, not decent, just sideways action today, pulling back a little bit after hours. Unity uh, bio, Biotechnology down two cents. Apple, ooh, Apple looks like such an attractive car, like just so attractive. If they ever announced like a, a new iPhone, I think this stock could get pumped to the upside in a big way. Uh, Electromass Solo. Uh, down two cents after hours, just kind of, you know, I really think that, this is my opinion, but I think that Electroma at these prices is a decent buy, because, I mean, it could go lower, I'm not saying it, it can't, but I feel like it went in November, unless the stock market crashes in November, it, it won't matter. But in November, they will be announcing, uh, you know, like deliveries of the solo. And, you know, uh, hopefully those deliveries will pump the stock, hopefully. If not, whatever. That's just the reality of it. But uh, we'll see what happens in the future for Electroma. I mean, they are going to deliver cars very soon. Diamond Peak Holdings, DPHC, uh, doesn't want to seem to want to drop, it, you know, just every drop, and people keep buying it up, so, uh, I think Diamond Peak Holdings is going a lot higher, uh, so I have here Sony again, Sony skyrocketed originally, and then it's just kind of very volatile after hours, uh, what is this stock? FPX Nickel. I bought some FPX Nickel today because uh, it crashed and I was like, oh, that's a buying opportunity. It could go keep going down. I'm not saying it can't, but it was 80 something cents not too long ago and now it's 61 cents. So I was like, I gotta take an opportunity of this. Uh, of course, it can go down to 50 cents. That would be huge resistance right here, but we'll see what happens. Um... If it goes down to 20 cents, I would cry, but I would buy more for sure. But we'll see what happens. Uh, nickel right now is a hot sector, and I, I just, I seriously don't think it's going to go back down to 20 cents. I could be wrong. Stock market could crash, and it can go down to 20 cents. We'll see what happens. A uh, very good food company uh, trading sideways today. Uh, Sony... Men Men is not really doing too much, kind of trading sideways. Men Men's having earnings here very soon. Uh, Harv today is just trading sideways. Uh, GTI Green Thumb Industries is uh, up seven, seven point seventy five cents. Seventy five cents. Yeah, that's decent, decent day for it. Uh, solo. 
so so tired. Okay, my thing. Oh, anyways, that's it for my video. Graph. Graph today is the still kind of volatile. I wonder what GMHI is doing. Ooh, GMHI really de really crashed today, and then it's bouncing back after hours. This is a stock. This is one stock I hold, uh, but uh, I, I really think that it's, you know, it's. I think that long term this thing could be a really big winner, but that's just my opinion. Maybe even short term could be a big winner. Who knows? It can't go any lower than uh, ten bucks. And Hennessy Capital today, kind of trading sideways right now. But yeah. Anyways. That's it for my video. Oh, let's look at some of the MJ stocks. ACB, what is ACB doing today? It's down. CGC is up 17 cents. Cron is up a penny. Afria is not doing too much. Up two cents after hours. Anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.